In this video, we're going to talk about milk, the ability to digest lactose, and a condition called lactose non-persistence. We're going to describe what is the level of human variation in the ability to digest lactose as adults. We'll explain why most infants, but not most adults, are able to tolerate lactose. We're going to apply our knowledge of lactase genetics to explain the anthropological link between populations and their ability to digest milk. And then we'll describe some of the pathology that is associated with maldigestion of lactose. Humans have been consuming milk for quite some time. Historically, milk is consumed by pastoral societies around the world. Milk can be consumed in its raw form, or it can be processed into cheese or kefir. Milk is an important source of several nutrients. For example, one cup of whole milk contains 16% of the daily value of protein and 30% of the daily value of calcium and vitamin D, which is often fortified within whole milk. The major oligosaccharide in milk is lactose. It is characterized by a beta-1,4 linkage between galactose and glucose. Its digestion requires the activity of an enzyme called lactase, which is specific to this beta-1,4 bond between galactose and glucose. However, even though most Caucasians are able to digest lactose, in the United States, several ethnic groups, including Native Americans, African Americans, and Southeast Asians, have a high incidence of the inability to digest lactose. In fact, worldwide, 65% of adults have a reduced ability to digest lactose. In almost everybody, the expression of the enzyme lactase is highest as you're an infant. This is coincident with high consumption of milk. However, in most people, as they grow to become adults, lactase expression is replaced with sucrase and isomaltase expression. This matches the shift in the diets, away from lactose and more towards sucrose, isomaltose, and amylopectin. However, in some individuals, they have polymorphisms in the lactase gene. This allows for continued expression of lactase, and therefore continued ability to digest lactose. In this case, the mutation appeared to allow lactose digestion. Remember, this is the exception, not the norm. These mutations have occurred independently in several societies around the world. These contour maps show the prevalence of individual mutations that cause persistence in the ability to digest lactose. You can see that these are unique to particular geographic regions, and these geographic regions were often coincident with pastoral societies. It is thought that the ability to digest lactose was an evolutionary advantage in these societies, since now they had a ready supply of highly nutritious milk and the ability to digest them throughout their lifespan. However, if you look at these graphs, you can see that in some areas, such as Southeast Asia, those mutations never occurred. This is consistent with the high levels of lactose malabsorption in people from Southeast and Southern Asia. So what would happen if you were somebody who could not digest lactose as an adult, but you consumed milk? Take a moment to think about what would cause bloating, cramping, and diarrhea in these individuals. If lactose is not digested within the small intestine, it then passes into the large intestine. The presence of solutes such as lactose in the large intestine draws in water through osmosis. This can result in diarrhea, bloating, and cramps. As the gut microbes interact with the lactose, they can ferment it, releasing some gases. This can be the cause of gas associated with lactose non-persistence. This is our best current understanding of the pathology of lactase non-persistence in some individuals. Even in America, milk consumption has declined quite substantially, almost 40% since 1975. Milk has largely been replaced with things like juices and soda, which can be high in sugar content. And now more recently, the recommendation is to replace with water. Milk, of course, relies on cows, which are a major source of greenhouse gases. In summary, milk is a major carbohydrate source in newborns and is digested by the enzyme lactase. Most humans cannot digest lactose as adults due to the decreased production of the enzyme lactase. However, in some populations, including Caucasians, mutations have occurred that allow for continued digestion of lactose. This is thought to confer an evolutionary advantage, providing a cheap and abundant nutrient-rich food source to some communities. The inability to digest lactose due to lactase non-persistence directs from osmosis and interactions of the gut microbiota with undigested lactose in the large intestine.